what a lot of these po folks aren't saying. I'm just gonna say it. If you think that there is consensus among the people who want Joe Biden to leave, that Kamala, that they will support Kamala, Vice President Harris, you would be mistaken. And I'm gonna say that because if they're gonna come out and say all their little things on background off, off the record, but they're not gonna be fully honest, I'm gonna be honest for them. I'm in these rooms. I see what they say in conversations. A lot of them are not just interested in removing the president. They are interested in removing the whole ticket. Your reaction, Jack Posobiec. Wow, Charlie, you know, it's, it's amazing because I was just thinking about that live stream as Tyler was talking and there's going to be, there was a lot, as I guess, I guess she would say, there's a lot of tea that was spilled on that live stream. And so AOC and those clips, by the way, have just become one of President Trump and J.D. Vance's best gifts for the next couple of months and really just a few weeks going forward here because we're just about halfway through the summer. Uh, and then once the once the fall rolls around, that's really just a shootout to Election Day. Look, the end and certainly when early votes start going in, look, she said it exactly right. She said it exactly right. This is a coup. This was a takedown of the Democrat process. This was something that was done in the back rooms and shady deals. By the way, how are you going to call Donald Trump a threat to democracy now? How are you going to call Donald Trump the greatest threat to democracy when you guys just iced your own nominee in front of the whole world? OK, it wasn't the uh, you know, Donald Trump wasn't the one who got taken out. It was Joe Biden who was taken out. and He was taken out by the elites of his own party and they did it in front of everyone. They did it worse than Christy Noem did to her dog. And so we saw we saw this. Now you're not gonna be able to, to put it back anymore. And so the things that Vivek has been saying, the things that Mike Benz has been saying about how you're, we've all been saying that you're controlled by an oligarchy, that all of these things are connected behind the scenes, that there are power brokers that have direct control over yes. our politicians. It's it's all open now. It's all completely open. Well, but, Donald but, Trump and, and, is not the threat to democracy. This machine is. Who's running for president. I think they just put a brain dead hollowed out husk of a human being in the White House because that's more convenient for them. The risk is a thinking person could change their mind. They don't want somebody who could change their mind. They want Joe Biden. Mark my words. Joe Biden will not be the nominee for the Democratic Party. We know he's not even the president of the United States. He's a puppet for the managerial class. Step up and be honest about who you're actually going to put up so we can have an honest debate. Biden should step aside so we can see whether it's Newsom or Michelle Obama or whoever else. Right, Just Mr. tell us the 20. truth so we can have an Time honest debate. Up. The president is healthy and vigorous, fit enough to perform his presidential duties. Fit for duty. Fit for duty. Fit to successfully execute the duties of the presidency. Excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with uh, Look, if we finally beat Medicare. There's a myth that President Biden's running for president. I think they just about the shade war. I reported this for years on Human Events Daily and, and folks and, and the Real America's Voice audience knows that we've been talking about this, how Kamala Harris was attempting to set herself up as the heir apparent and how you called it Team B and Team K and it was Team K that was always blocked out by Team B and, and Blake was just referencing all of those members. Jen Psaki was a huge part of that. Now she's over at MSNBC. Uh, Ron Klain, uh, Steve Reschetti, all of these guys who went around and they've been a Tony Blinken. They've been with Biden for a really long time. And now all of a sudden the bloom is completely off the rose. And I'm just going to say it. Everyone can see now that the emperor has no clothes. You are going to see a Democrat. We are watching a Democrat coup against Joe Biden and his entire administration. It's happened. I, I had talked before, by the way, about